Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, it's with Tucker USA here with Max. Uh, as everybody knows, we have a February sale on all our uh, filters, and uh, we decided we'll make shoot a little quick video uh, on how to fill your own resin. It's a commonly asked question, so we'll let Max, our DI boss, uh, show you how it's done. Max, take it away. Cool. I'm Max, I'm DI boss. I'm going to show you how to fill empty versions of our 30 inch cartridges as well as our 10 inch version of the blue and white that would go in the gray housing on your rival fill and go or S4. Start when you get a empty 30 inch housing, you're going to have a taped section here with an O-ring and one section is going to be loose. If you remove that, it's totally empty. Here we have a half cubic foot bucket of DI resin. Already have it open. Now with the half cubic foot, you'll be able to fill three 30 inch DIs with the amount of resin you get inside. I have a funnel and a scoop here. It's gonna take your scoops, pour them in. And what's most important about this and what I feel like a lot of people are missing is how packed it has to be. If you don't pack it hard enough, you're gonna end up with a lot of empty air inside when the water starts flowing. And the water will actually go around the resin and you're not gonna get the best purification you can. We we'll like to pack it. I'll actually shimmy it up a little bit to get a little bit extra. Like right here, it looks almost full. So if you put your lid on and you pack it down and take the lid back off, you can actually see I have about two inches of empty space in there all the way around. When I take my resin, I fill back up to the top again. Doing this, you see, I still have another inch and a half, maybe. So I'll top it off to about there. Now that's a good fullness. When you put the top on, if you press down in the middle of this carrier. You want it to be firm, you want it to be dense. You don't want a deep air pocket to where you feel like it's not touching anything. And so this one's ready to go. We would then glue or you could place it on there and tape around here. And this filter would be ready to go and put into a unit. Now over here on the blue and white, it's got two sides. One looks like the carrier here. And the other one would have an O-ring that I just took off right here. Now the one with the O-ring actually has a sediment-like filter on the inside. You want to fill this one from the other side, the side that looks more like it's a carrier. And inside you're going to find a foam piece. You're going to take that out and set it aside. And it's going to be the same process of filling it and making sure that you're really packing it down to get a nice firm pressure all the way around so that there's no empty air that the water can roll around once it goes inside the filter. You have it full, maybe a little less in the rim, maybe up to the rim. I'll then put the foam piece inside the carrier lid onto it, tighten it down, put the o ring back inside the top end. This is the top, as we are right here demonstrating. 
And that is now ready to be inserted into your unit as well. And this has been your demo. Thanks, Max. So once again, uh, all filters are on sale this month. We'll have it. Uh, I'll link it down in the comment sections in a little bit. So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, if you're not sure what filters goes into your system, we can definitely help you out in that regard. Thanks and take care.